What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day out there today. Guys, we're going to do a little testing and unboxing video on something we've actually never really done on the channel before. And guys, it's going to be on the new FlySky FS-ST8 transmitter receiver. You're probably wondering, well, what are you going to put that transmitter on, guys? You know, you don't have any uh, planes or helicopters that would take that. Well, I'll show you what we're going to put it on. And this has always been a little bit of an issue with this since I've had it out the last couple times, is on my Brushless 2S speedboat, the Altair Aerial Boat. Had a lot of fun with this thing, but one of the issues I had with it the last couple times I took it out was I'm out there trying to rip around the lake, and I keep losing connection with it. Um, and it's honestly gets kind of scary because it gets out there, you lose connection with it. Now the boat's just out there floating around in the water. So I figured this would be a perfect place to mount up the new Fly Sky transmitter and get this thing mounted up in here. The range should be a lot better on this. Uh, we're going to check out the specifications on it. But we're going to get the receiver mounted up in the boat and uh, take this thing out and give it a rip around the lake and have a little fun with the boat today. So... Should be a good time, so stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys, let's take this thing and get this thing out of the box and check it out. Like I said, guys, this is the new FlySky FS-ST8 transmitter receiver. Great for boats, drones, helicopters, um, airplanes. So any guys are out there looking for a radio, um, let me check this thing out and see what this thing's like. Packaging looks pretty nice so far. Well, that's a pretty sharp-looking radio. All right, well, got the transmitter here. Lots and lots of switches. I am not an airplane guy, so, you know, getting to utilize all these switches, I will not be able to, but uh, we're going to have some fun with the transmitter and get this thing hooked up to the boat and uh, test out the range and uh, just check out the overall feeling of this thing. It's got some really nice triggers on this thing. It's got some really good grip. It's got tiny little tiny little spikes off the, off the throttle and steering on these to give you a nice grip on these things also and it is a full you it locks in place with the throttle wherever you set it so transmitter's got a nice feel to it it's got some nice weight to it what else you got in here all right here's our receiver and this is an eight channel receiver looks like it's got some different binding plugs and jumper plugs and stuff in here and now we have the little instruction books we're gonna take a look at this and see uh see what other details we could find out all right, guys, I was taking a look through the instruction manual here real quick and I uh, kind of going over some of the specifications and it is a dual antenna and I found a distance on here and it says it's about 450 meters uh, ground distance without interference. Basically, if you're not going through trees and a lot of a uh, lot of obstructions, which comes out to just a little bit short of 1500 feet of range on this thing. So the range should be plenty distance for what I'm going to be doing with it. And uh, the weight on it is 420 grams. There's the charging pack. No, there's four AA batteries is what the transmitter takes here in the back. So we're going to go ahead, get some batteries in this thing, get the receiver out, get her mounted up in the boat here and get this thing fired up and go ahead and have some fun with the boat again. All right, guys, we got some batteries in the transmitter here. We're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. Comes up with a little Fly Sky logo. And it also lets you know right off the bat, as soon as you fire it up, if there's any switches that could be engaging something else to turn them off. So it says turn the S, the, the switch B to the up position, and now turn the switch D. And now it'll let you take control of the transmitter, which is nice. It has a fail-safe built-in so that there's no switches. It could be running, you know, props, who knows what. I People could set these things up in all different fashions, but it does let you know before it'll fire up um, that all your switches have to be in the basically uh, off or neutral position. So, we've got the transmitter fired up. We're just going to get the receiver in the boat now and uh, get this thing out and give her a little rip. So, guys, I was just going over some of my settings and calibrations, and there is a lot of options to be able to change stuff in the menu on this thing. I um, mean, you can change, you can see up there now, like <laughs> your background colors are yellow. Um, you can change it to whatever you want white off green all kinds of different things going through the settings on this thing there is lots of different settings you can set up these joysticks to work however you want if you want this to be the steering and throttle or steering and throttle um any configuration i think what i'm going to run this as is this right joystick is going to be my throttle and steering i'm going to test it out like that if i don't like it once i'm actually on the water um, i might move the throttle over to here but the only thing i'm not sure about using the throttle like this is because obviously it's stationary it doesn't spring back and you got to get it centered as soon as for it to shut down. So I think I'm going to allow this joystick since it does return back to neutral um, as my throttle. So I'm getting the transmitter set up here and uh, really nice navigation menu. I mean, everything is very uh, easy to navigate through. 
Um, you got all your transmitter sets, um, your receive sets, um, everything. There is tons of menu settings in here. And this is your little thumb wheel to basically scroll through everything. And then once you're on what you want, you push down on the little wheel and it takes you into those different modes, the calibrations, uh, firmware updates, all of it. So definitely, uh, you know, get familiar with it, navigate through the menus, find out where everything's at. And now uh, you can set this thing up exactly how you like it. All right, I got my receiver mounted in down here. I just used some uh, the hook and loop, you know, Velcro. It is a dual antenna receiver. I'm going to go ahead and just run those up to the very front of the boat. They should get lots of range on this thing. I'm going to tuck them up along the front channel here in the front. And she's bound up. And I'll show you guys uh, how the controls work. All right, we got everything all set up here. And as you can see now, the left trigger or the right tr throttle. <laughs> gives re forward. Reverse is, of course, slowed down. It... it I think I have it set at 30%, so you can back up out of stuff, and then of course you're steering. And at the same time, you can increase your steering and throttle at the same time. So I'm thinking I really might like this kind of setup with having it all in one stick, being able to maneuver it around. But like I said, if I, it feels awkward or I need to change it around, I will go ahead and move the plug over to channel four on this thing, and that will give me my throttle on just the left joystick. But batteries are charged up. Only thing left now, take this thing out in the water and have a little fun with us. So stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys. Well, we are on our way out to the lake, uh, doing the unfortunate deed of getting gas at the moment. We all know how much that hurts. <laughs> but, guys, I set up this, the, the transmitter a little differently. I was messing around with the configurations, and I think I found a great way and a great configuration that's going to work great for the boat. But, guys, it is a beautiful day, so we're going to go out and have some fun on the water. So stick around. All right, guys, so I was telling you that the uh, I changed my controllers around a little bit, and this is what I did. So now the left throttle, since this one doesn't return to, to neutral position, I set it up because it is fully adjustable with any axis um, you want it to do. So now the left, this is controlling the throttle, the left joystick going left and right, and the steering is controlling up and right. I could change this to left and right also, which I might do, but for now, I'm going to try this out. But we got the boat out here and ready to go. All right, guys, well, we got the boat out here in the water. We're going to give her a little rip around see what the uh, distance is like man I forgot how quick this boat was hopefully you guys can even see it out there it is just skipping uh oh and it's submerged where's it at <laughs> it is fully underwater right oh there it goes jeez it was completely underwater for a second guys I mean completely underwater <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I've got the configuration set up exactly how I want it now. I got the left joystick controlling the throttle left and right, and the right joystick controlling the uh, steering. It's a little bit of a choppy lake out here today. <laughs> but, guys, the controller is working really nice. Um, really happy with the controller. Been messing around with the distances. Man, the air boat just caught some air out there. Definitely getting a lot further distance out of this. I mean, I would have lost control with this thing a long time ago with the stock controller. Uh, you guys probably can't even see the boat out there anymore. But it does let you know if you do start running out of range, it'll start beeping at you and letting you know, um, you know, you need to start bringing it back in. But as soon as you get back within range, um, a safe range, it'll stop. But it's controlling the boat, beautiful. And again, I want to spend a big thank you to Fly Sky for sending this controller out there. Um, you know, me and Trevor are planning on getting into. Uh, we're talking about. Say hi, Trevor. Hello. We've been talking about getting into some uh, drones, maybe grabbing a couple drones and having a little fun with some stuff like that. So, might be hooking this controller up to that here soon, and doing that next, because uh, we watched a couple guys out of the skate park um, with the drones and. A couple guys go down there periodically. <laughs> they definitely look like a lot of fun. I know it's gonna definitely take some practice. Woo! Oh, <laughs> man. That is wide open right there. And it is just skipping along. Amazing how well this thing turns on the, but the control um, on the boat and this controller um, is spot on. I mean, exactly where you hit it, it will uh, <laughs> turn. I gotta get the boat flipped up. There we go. Love that it has a self writing feature. <laughs> the joysticks on this controller feel really nice. With these grippies on the top, you can really uh, have a good feel of where your throttles and stuff are. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to finish up here. We're done at the lake. We're going to bust a drone out for a little bit and have a little fun out here. And that's going to do it. But again, thank you very much, Fly Sky, for sending along this transmitter and receiver combo. It worked great in the boat. Really happy with the controls on this thing. And uh, we're definitely going to be using this and setting it up on some different different things rc here in the future but uh again thank you guys i appreciate you all watching and uh if you guys are looking for a drone helicopter plane remote um go check out fly sky guys but that's gonna do it so until next time y'all be safe be careful out there peace out everybody